I wanted to speak about humility and I have uh, some thoughts on the matter. Um, I had this neighbor in Miami. She was uh, very smart and world traveled. She was born in Puerto Rico and she was married to an engineer, an Irishman. Uh, a citizen of the United States and he his career was uh, in the um, let me see what do you call the Army Corps of Engineers so him and her they traveled uh, in to Europe and one of his uh, assignments was to help rebuild Europe including Germany after World War two so Anyway, she had always uh, some wise saying, and um, I don't know we, what we were speaking about, maybe some snobby people, and she said, uh, you know, some people, when they go to the bathroom, they think chocolate comes out. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, when I uh, think about humility, I, I remember what she said. And really, no, no matter how educated we think we've gotten and um, no matter how many honors people have given us or good deeds we did or, or, or high IQs or, or, or compliments or whatever, we, we have to think about how humbling this, this body is. So, I mean, somebody could get dressed up in diamonds and very expensive clothes and, and you know, had a bath, a bubble bath and a shower and perfume and, and skin treatments and everything. But, but still, no matter what we did to the outside of us, we're carrying around, you know, sacks of um, bile and, and saliva and urine and, and um, solid waste and I mean, I mean how could we think of ourselves as a, a big deal you know because of the exterior or for, even for our thoughts or our words when inside, you know, right below the surface, all these these things are going on, and these these fluids being produced, and and uh, antibodies, and and white blood cells attacking and invading uh, bacteria. I mean, it it just it it's just silly, um, and. And isn't it also strange, uh, you know, being in this um, in this body, you know, having you know spiritual thoughts, and all these very physical things going on at, at the same time? And what about the mysterious things at night when we're dreaming? You know, we're totally unconscious, and yet, our in our mind, we're doing so many different things. We could be flying without a plane, and then. You know, we could be traveling and talking to people, and uh, even even deceased relatives appear in your dream. Even my dog was talking to me once in one of my dreams. <laughs> um, anyway, just things to think about, and also when I'm thinking about things like this, or I come up with you know what I think is a good idea. I, I remember about, you know, people that have uh, taken, um, what do you call it, um, when you're taking a drug that uh, you don't need for a health reason, what is that called? Entertainment drugs? I forget the term. But why do that so you can have interesting thoughts, you know, and, uh, and go on a mental trip, I mean, you don't need it. You could do that anyway with meditation. You could do it with exercise. You could do it with being in nature. I mean, drugs are like, should be the last resort if you're in, in horrific pain or, or, you know, you're ill. And even the, 
the drugs that people don't think of as drugs, but you look them up in the encyclopedia and they are like caffeine, like alcohol. You know, do we need that? Maybe the government likes it because they they make uh, you know money on the taxes they put on those things. Even cigarettes get taxed, and where does the money go? That tax money. Anyway, um, random thoughts, I guess. Think about it. <laughs>